what's up in this video we'll continue with our table view and i'll add edit and delete data functionality and let's get started so here in our table view controller i'm going to create a new method for editing data private void edit data but before that let me update our table view fxml file and open in scene builder let's select the table view and go to properties make sure to select the editable property enable this and save go back to our ide and go to person class and let's update this if you are using intellij uh, press alt and insert on your keyboard and generate setters make sure to select these properties here and click on OK all right let's go back to our controller class and I'm going to use the first name the first name table column and I'm going to call the first name and set cell factory and I'll use the text field to when updating the data and I'm going to call the text field uh, text field table cell and specify the person class and call the for table column and first name again that set on edit commit this one is used to update our data and I'm gonna use the lambda expression event and this okay and I'm gonna call again the person class to use and to set the our data new value this is gonna be person object equals event that get table view and get items that get method and I'm gonna call the event again and get table position and get row this is going to get the selected items now I get selected item get selected item to update all right and I'm gonna call the person object person that set first name because we are setting the because we're updating the data from the text from the first name column okay this is uh, the setters we recently generated from the person class and call the event and get new value and once the data is, has been updated we will inform the user that the data has been updated let's use uh, system out the print end and person that get last name and let's concatenate this main was updated to there's send event that get new value at at row and then enclose this to parentheses event that get table position that get row plus one because the array value starts from zero and plus one all right and I'm gonna copy these lines of code for our last name and origin this is gonna be the last name and this is gonna be the last name as well
this is still gonna be the first name. Last name. All right, and let's add another one for our origin. Set or region. For Kenny, origin was updated to All right, and to make this work, let's go here to our initialize method and call the method name. This one is edit data. And let, let's try to run our application to see what that looked like, to see how it works. All right. And I'm going to add another data. Let's say can't keep and the originist page. Insert data. All right, it's working. And let me update this. Let me update our my last name to let's say Java. And hit enter to update our data, new volume. Okay, the message was Kent last name was updated to Java row three. Alright, and let me close this and Okay. All right, let me run it again. Okay, let me update this sample. The first name is sample and all right. Last name, sample, names was updated to cat.rowand. Kent's last name was updated to Kip at row one. Testing. All right. That's how you update data in table view. And let's proceed to deleting a data. So I'm going to open my scene builder and update the UI here. So I'm going to add an H box because we are using HBox here for our button. And I'm gonna search for HBox and drag it inside our VBox. And I'm gonna move this button to our HBox. And let's add a new one button for deleting data. And let me change the alignment, the HBox alignment to center. And let's go to our layout property and add some spacing. Let's say, for example, five. All right. And I'm going to rename this. This is going to be delete data. All right. Let's collapse and go to code, expand this one, and add some action event and delete data save and go back to our ide and let's inject this button fxml private void delete data and action event Okay, and to update our, to delete our data, we need to call the table view selection model. All right, this is going to be selection model equals 
no table that gets selection model okay let me specify this one all right and I'm gonna make an F statement if selection model is empty will inform the user that our selection has is empty so s out do you need to select a data before the item all right and It's an unnecessary. All right, I'm gonna make an observable, observable list. This is gonna be integer because we will store our value in this observable list yeah. or integer array of integer equals. What's this one? Table that mm, selection model that gets selected indices and create an integer array of integer. This is going to be to store our to store the value from the selection model and selected indices is equals to new array of integer and list that size selected let's copy the value selected indices is equals to list that to array and selected indices let's sort the array to sort selected indices okay and let's make a for loop for and i is equals to selected indices that length minus one and if i is greater than equal to zero i decrement and let's clear the selection yeah if this is true selection model that clear selection selected indices and I that end value and let's call our table to remove the item get items that remove nope select selected indices and end value all right and that's it let's run our application to see what that looks like okay let me add another data can't keep ph insert data and let me update this the second row which is going to be james enter and bond us okay it's working as you, as you can see here and let me delete the this one the first one let me <clears throat> make sure to select this item and click on delete data boom okay it's working and 
<clears throat> if I'm going to click on data again, it will show a message here. You need to select a data before <clears throat> deleting it. Delete it. All right, that's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.